So I'm just showing off a little experiment that I've conducted here. Uh, I've been using this for live recording for a couple of weeks now. And uh, basically what it is is an Odroid XU4Q. That's the same as the XU4, except with a larger passive heat sink, an M-Audio Fast Track Ultra. And what this does is allows me to record up to six line level inputs simultaneously. And I had been doing this with the same interface and a laptop running Windows 7, but I wanted something smaller, basically just optimized for my live recording purposes. I set up a template that is already pre-configured uh, to look the way I want, and it has uh, six individual inputs set up to record. And I just open that session, save it as my new file name, and then just go straight into recording. It's very efficient and quick. And if something bad happens, I'm not down a uh, expensive computer. This is a seven inch 480 line touch screen. It's not large enough to show the entire mixer view. And that's not a big deal because I have tried doing overdubs with this and if you're not using the proprietary drivers, which of course don't exist for Linux, then it disables the main outputs on the back. Plus the other outputs do work, but they're drowned in this horrible reverb. So while you can do overdubs that way, I don't recommend it, but it does serve my purposes quite well. There's some tricks to getting this to work. I'm running Ubuntu 16.04 and against recommendations to update the OS as soon as you get installed, don't do that or, or else Ardour will not work properly on it. If you saw earlier, I was messing around with Jack and I was showing off that you cannot have real time engaged and you have to manually open Jack first and start it or else Ardour will not sync with it. Now, if there's uh, guys out there that know more about single board computers and Linux than I do, correct me if there's a way around this issue, but Ardour will not start Jack automatically like it's supposed to do. The other issues I found are pretty small. It's just uh, navigating without a mouse or a keyboard. And, uh, you know, it's uh, actually uh, kind of a neat, handy little system. Uh, I've done two live recordings with this so far, and I've just recorded straight to a thumb drive here, uh, where both my template and my final versions are stored. On the back here, you can see the uh, larger Radiant Sync. Uh, I attached plexiglass to the back of this. Uh, I have two layers of it. Uh, the top surface doesn't really do much. It just kind of makes it look a little neater, I think. But uh, this is the uh, HDMI and uh, USB to run the touch screen. This is my power input. That's my line to the interface. The, this is where I'm storing. I just want to come home from the end of a live recording, pull this and get straight to work. Oh yeah, and this is the other thing. I just got this battery. I haven't really tried recording on battery power yet, but hopefully that'll be an option. If it's a larger band, I'm gonna bring my HD24 24 track, but for most of the stuff, I'm basically just recording voices. Those get recorded on tracks one and two, respectively. I do a stereo mix for the instruments on three and four, and then five and six are my audience mics. And so these six tracks pretty much handle everything I want. Now, the other advantage of being able to run off battery power, and this has always scared me, if I'm running off of the mains, then if I get a power failure, then my tracks are gone. And uh, if I get this running off battery, then that won't be a big deal because it, at least like maybe my mixer died, but at least I can save what I have and they won't be corrupt. The other thing is hopefully if I can uh, get this to supply enough current, run both the interface and the computer simultaneously off of battery power. And that way I can do four track just using the microphone inputs on the front here. So that's kind of the gist of it. This is my first experience with Linux and single board computers. So I'm sure there's a lot to learn. There's probably a lot I can be doing better, but yeah, I just wanted to give a quick overview of what I'm doing here and it's uh, worked fine for me so far. Thank you for watching.